Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another face painting tutorial. I have a special guest, Isabel. Say hi. Hi everyone. In this tutorial, I will show you how to face paint this cute snow leopard. I've just loaded up my face painting sponge with some tag white. Now from here, I'm just going to begin making the leopard's ear because snow leopards have a bit of an arched ear, whereas tigers have more of a pointed out ear. So then I'll continue on on this side, just creating a little arch here. And then dabbing on a line in between. Now with the same sponge, i am just loaded up some more white. So I don't want to make my sponge too watery. And now I'm just going to bring the paint right down the cheekbone through to the edge of the lip. Now I'm going to continue that over the muzzle of the snow leopard. And just dabbing along. And on the other side as well. So just like a dabbing motion that will put, that will transfer all of the paint onto the child's face. So I'm just going to bring a stroke inward and then flick it up a little. And then I'm going to join that by creating a curve down to the side of the eyebrow. Now what I want to do is just create a flick up following the top of that ear and then make some little flicks inward to make it look like there's some darker hairs inside the snow leopard's ear. And I'll repeat that on the other end. So I'll just commence my arch going upward that way and then connecting it right down to meet with the child's, the end of their eyebrow. And then I'll do another flick up and some small flicks, which is going to look like the inside of that ear. And now I'm just going to do a jagged line across to join the two ears. Now I'm just going to create a little upside down triangle just here. I'm moving over. I'm just going to do some, some little whisker type looking spikes and then some teardrops directing downward to the chin. So repeating that on the other side. Now we're framing the white that we've put on here. So we've got a base and then our line work is pre pretty much going to just frame what we already have there. Now bring the muzzle. So I'm going to bring it right down and then curve it as it's going to meet the bottom lip. So again, I'm going to bring it down and curve it as it meets the bottom lip and I'm going to curve it inward, create some little whiskers inward. And now bringing the the snow leopard's nose into place. So I've just done a little teardrop coming into the tip of the nose. And again, so bringing your brush flat down and then bringing it into a tip as we get to the front. I'm going to just create a line right down the middle here. And then sort of almost halfway up, I'm going to begin making a little upside down triangle. And now we're going to commence making the cool um, leopard spots. So just creating little C's in all different directions and they'll be bigger um, when they're placed at the edge of the face. And then they'll come as we're getting inside, they'll get smaller and smaller. So just here, I'll make a smaller one and another smaller one in here and gradually and gradually getting smaller to resemble little dots. 
big Z's in different directions. And they're getting smaller as we're getting to the middle of the face. So using a number six brush, I'm just going to go ahead and load it up with some wolf white and make some teardrops coming inward. And the point is going to point right into the middle of the chin there. Outlining the teeth, because we want to make them look pretty sharp. So outlining them like that. And to finish, I just want to bring in um, a love heart in the middle just to soften it up for a girl design. So I'm just going to do a teardrop and then another teardrop next to that one. And that'll create a little cute pink love heart right in the middle of her nose. Get my spritz bottle and I'm going to ask Isabel to close her eyes and I'm just going to... Um, have the bottle about that far apart so we can just get a, a spritz of mist. And while your eyes are closed, while the child's eyes close, we're going to just poof on some glitter everywhere and that will make it look super sparkly. I also love to put some pixie paint around this one because pixie paint just makes it look so shimmery. So just along here and along the sides, just to have it sparkle. So if you have a look at that shimmeriness, it just looks amazing. Thanks for watching. If you got something out of this, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any face painting related questions or you need something that you need clarified, make sure you comment down below and I'll do my absolute best to share my knowledge with you in the next video. I'm on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to follow me so we don't miss each other for the next one. Until next time, happy painting.